In this video, I cover five of my most favorite extensions in Visual Studio Code. These extensions are perfect for programmers, developers, anyone using VS Code to really maximize your productivity and really make your life a little bit easier. I know that these five are my favorite extensions and they have tremendously helped my workflow when working in VS Code. So let's jump right in to Visual Studio and let's take a look at some of the extensions that I have installed and why I would recommend you might wanna give them a try as well. Okay, so I have opened here my VS Code and I'm gonna head over to my extensions pane and you'll see that I already have all of these extensions that we're mentioning in this video installed because I use them on an everyday basis and uh, I really think that they have been super helpful for me. So uh, that's, kind of why I, uh, that's kind of why I wanted to share this with you. So first off is the prettier code formatter. I'm sure that you might have heard this before if you know anything about VS Code extensions. I had no idea about this and I'm relatively new to programming. So this is something that has saved me so much time. So much effort has been relieved by this extension alone. I don't know what I ever did without this. I mean, struggle I basically is what I did, uh, but I really love this. It's simple, it's effective, lightweight, it works tremendously well. And essentially what the prettier uh, extension does is it automatically formats your code for you. So with this, extension, your code is automatically formatted in a readable fashion, making sure that you have that industry standard consistent look across the board, no matter what language you're working in. It's pretty much like having an obsessive compulsive stylist for your code. And it could not be more helpful making sure that you look your best when anyone else is looking at your work. So next we have the bracket pair colorization, let me full screen this, extension. <laughs> Essentially what this does is it color codes the brackets in your code. And why is this helpful? It basically turns all of the code you're writing from standard white colored or whatever, uh, you know, singular colored bracket container systems. <laughs> How many other words can I say? Uh, it turns it into a GPS locator so that you always know where things are, what containers house what, where they start, where they end. Fantastic extension, could not recommend this enough because it is, um, it is absolutely amazing and it'll save you the headache and the eye strain of really like leaning in to your computer, trying to find what is this, where does this start, where does this end? We've all gone through that. This extension will help you solve that issue. So next we have Code Snap. So if you've ever seen online the snippets of code that look perfectly formatted, they will have color code, they're uh, just beautiful. Maybe you stack overflow or a similar look to what you might find on ChatGPT. This extension perfectly creates snapshot slash screenshots of your code with perfect syntax highlighting makes it beautiful, a standalone work of art. You could frame uh, how gorgeous these things look, you put them on your wall. Maybe we should do that actually, it's not a bad idea. Okay, what's the funniest or coolest or most absurd thing that I could snapshot with code snap, print it out, frame it, hang it on the wall? It's gotta be something good. Uh, if you have an idea, let me know. Otherwise, I'll be thinking about this and we'll come up with something. So if I open my command palette by command shift P or control shift P on Windows, and you can just look for code snap. Click that and you'll have on the right hand side everything that's inside your code. Now, if you drag and drop, it'll automatically update in real time. The syntax highlighting is uh, retained in the code snap image. But how cool is this? On the right hand side, you have your code snap and it just, it could not function any better than this. It's just fantastic. It's, I don't really think there's anything more to say because it's just, it's that self-explanatory. It's just good. It's just, love it. Okay, so that brings us to the next extension, which is, for all of you web developers out there, the live server. So live server, get rid of this code snap here. Live server basically makes it so you as a developer, if you're doing any type of web development local in your 
uh, VS Code program. You can open your code in the browser. You can see updated live changes with the touch of a button. So in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see this go live a toggle button that once you install this live server extension, it'll pop up, you could click it, and essentially you can load a live version of what you're working on in VS Code into your browser to see real time updated updates, changes, and it really just helps the workflow process uh, doing any, any type of web development. Now, if I were to just open a folder, let's do extension demo just for a test folder. I'll create a new file. Let's do HTML. We'll do index HTML. And let's type standard HTML5. And let's put test go live. Now, if I wanted the body of this, I could have a um yeah let's do a list and hello my name is zach let me save that and we can actually use the prettier just to make sure that this is going to be boom look at that prettier comes in to save the day yet again because it is the best extension ever and it saves my life in so much time. I'm still a beginner when it comes to this stuff, but these are the things that I wish that I knew uh, about when I first started programming. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit the go live button. And what this is going to do is it's going to show us, now let me put this on the right hand side of the screen. Now we have left right hand side of the screen. Now if I were to, say add another bullet point to this list and I could say the sky is blue today and I save this automatically all of my updates are shown in the browser which is awesome so you could see how beneficial this would be if you're doing a application say you're doing a Next.js app or a, a react app already has its own npm start so uh, little bit different there doesn't use the go live extension but uh, if you are going live and doing things in HTML and JavaScript linking them uh, with a, a script tag in your HTML and you are trying to see things updated in real time this extension is gonna make your life a whole lot easier instead of having to you know close it save it reopen it it'll automatically live update itself so a lot of words there but hopefully that makes sense Okay, and the last extension, but not least, is going to be the Better Comments extension. So let's take a look at this guy here. And essentially what this extension does is it takes boring comments and it kind of spices them up a little bit, you know, a little spicy. Makes them a little bit easier to read, easier to find, easier to communicate the intent of the comment. So you have very important information with a asterisk. Um, you have urgent information with an exclamation point. You can ask questions. You can uh, do to-do lists. So if I were to have a main.js and I wanted to do a comment in here, I could just do a standard comment. Say you have a very important comment. Now say I have, is this, supposed to be here. They look exactly the same and depending on how many comments or how large of a body of comments you have, uh, they can be convoluted and sometimes go under the radar and you might be spending more time looking for things than actually understanding and reading things that you know your eyeballs should be reading. So uh, say this comment was important and I wanted to signify that. Put an exclamation in that bad boy and now it has turned red letting everybody know that this is urgent, it's an alert, um, we need to look at this more closely, uh, this needs more reformatting, this variable is not defined correctly, uh, you name it. Say if we had a question, same deal. Now if I had wanted to make it green as like a general heading, uh, important information, like this section does this. 
say there's something that still needs to be done in the code base or in, sorry, rather the uh, file of code that you're working on, whether you're working with people or not, um, you could do a to-do. It really just helps differentiate the comments in your code to make them significantly easier to read and to collaborate with other people um, looking at your code. So with that being said, these are just a few of the extensions that are incredibly helpful in Visual Studio Code. And by harnessing the right tools, you really can elevate your level of productivity when you're programming or developing in Visual Studio. So hopefully you found this video helpful or informative. Maybe you didn't know these extensions existed. Maybe there's some that I missed here that you think are you know, the bee's knees and like everybody should try them. Uh, maybe I don't know about them. Chances are I probably don't. So feel free to comment below, uh, send me a message with your favorite extensions and we can really build our skill base together. Hopefully this video was helpful for you and thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.